Today I'm going to show you how to make a string of spinners like this that just spin around in the wind. So I'll just, uh, there you go, you can see them spinning around. I'll go get the equipment and then I'll show you how you can make this. So this is what you need. You need some card. Um, you can use paper but card is going to last a little bit longer. Um, different colours depending on what your preference is. Some string. I'm just using some twine like string here. A ruler, a pen, a pair of scissors, a stapler, and ideally just a piece of wire that will help you poke the string through the hole. So the first thing you want to do is make your card into squares, because right now it's a rectangle. So you measure this, the, um, the width is 21 and a half. So what I want to do is mark this 21 and a half. And then again on the other side, and then we'll draw a line across. Okay, now we know where to cut. So you get the scissors. Okay, perfect. Now we have a square piece of card. Next thing to do is draw diagonally from corner to corner. And again, the other one. Okay, there you go. So now you want to cut along the diagonal. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just try and stay roughly on the line. And then you're going to stop about hmm, one or two centimeters from the center. And go around and do that on each one. And then this one, last one. Okay, so there you go, you can see they're all cut. Now you want to make a hole in the middle, so I'm going to use, um, I'll use my piece of wire to do that. So there you go, put my hole in the middle. The next thing you want to do is you start by taking one corner, then you skip a corner, take the next one, Skip a corner, take the next one. Skip a corner, take the next one. And you'll see you've got your basic pinwheel shape. And what you do then is just take your stapler and, oops, got to make sure that you keep all the bits together in the middle. Just take your stapler and then, like that. And you see, we've now got one pinwheel. And all you have to do is next, you want to make a hole here. So uh, I'll do that. I'm just going to add another staple to this one because I didn't get it quite right. Okay, so you see, I've just added another staple just to make it more secure. So now you want to make another hole, this time somewhere in the center of these. So I'll just do that with. Uh, my piece of metal here. Okay, so there you go, that's through. So now you've got a hole at the front and a hole at the back for your string to go through, and then they'll spin like that. So, what I'll do is I'll pause the camera, then I'm going to make a bunch more of these, and then we'll come back and do the string part. So, I've made a total of eight of them. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, yeah, eight pieces. Next is the time to put them on the string. The first thing you want to do is tie yourself a knot, and you want it to be bigger than the hole so that the spinner can't slide off over it. So I'm going to tie this knot a couple of times to make sure it's nice and thick. There we go. So obviously that's a lot thicker than the hole in this. So now. I'm going to use my. I'm going to grab the other end of the string, 
I'm going to use my piece of metal here to poke the string through the hole. If it doesn't fit, then you might have to make the hole a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm going to make this one a tiny bit bigger. And then the same on the other side. Okay, let's try again. Obviously, this just depends on the thickness of your string. Okay, so I've got it through the front there. Now I need to get it through the back bit. This is the hardest bit of the whole, of the whole setup, basically getting the string to go through the holes. Okay, so now it's through. So you can see if I blow on this, it spins around. So all you do is you put that all the way. Pull the string all the way through until it gets to your until it gets to your nut. And then you see it will stop on the knot. And then what I have to do is um, tie another knot here just after it so that it can't slide down the rope or the string. And then uh, do another knot for the next one, which will be about here, and uh, just keep doing them like that. So I'll pause the video and I'll come back once I've got more of them on. So here's the finished product. I've decided to use just five of them um, because I don't really have space for all eight. So I might make you know another one or something like that. Um, I'll go tie this up and then uh, I'll show you it in action. Here's the finished product. You can see I've just stuck it to the wall with some hooks. They're just, uh, just held on with a bit of sticky back tape kind of stuff. And when the wind gets going, these will spin pretty good. Let's see a bit of wind comes along so we can see them in action. I'll pause the video until some wind comes. Oh, actually, here we go. It's quite gusty today, so there's not really one steady direction of wind. It's been pretty good.